When it comes to the Kaishin number, the official number, what does it all tell us about the health and strength of the Chinese manufacturing and Chinese economy broadly right now? So the official PMI tends to be more reflective of the overall situation of the economy and, and hence I would give a more weight to uh, this reading, which means that actually I think if we got coming into the industrial production activity for the August, I think probably we will be expecting uh, further moderation from the already uh, uh, the moderation we've seen uh, in the recent months. Um, on the other hand, uh, the Chinese deemed manufacturing PMI was somewhat uh, better. Uh, for the last one, and I think that could be probably reflecting that uh, the, ex the exporters uh, are doing slightly better because if you look at the export data, we actually have some kind of a moderation in July, and uh, it could be suggesting that things have been uh, maybe in improving a little bit, um, given that uh, the survey tends to be more reflective of uh, the SME and the exporter situation. But overall, I would say that uh, the demand weakness is still uh, pretty uh, uh, big challenge for the economy. So definitely arguing uh, the policymakers to, to step up uh, even more to support the economy. What's also interesting to me is that input prices were down for the first time in five months. Business sentiment is also improving, but you mentioned the prospect of more stimulus here. This has been a conversation that we've been having for many, many months now. What do leaders need to do on the ground from a fiscal policy perspective in order to really push these numbers into expansion territory? So I think uh, when it comes to the policy stimulus, definitely the fiscal policy is uh, being more important than the monetary policy. And uh, for the fiscal policy, actually last year, they already issued uh, one trillion uh, special CGBs and we have another one trillion uh, special CGBs which are being uh, issued uh, this year. But uh, but actually, if you look at the fiscal data, the fiscal spending, uh, the pickup uh, the pace of the moder the pickup has not been as fast as the government uh, was expecting in the March budget. And I think to a large extent that reflects uh, that the local governments, they are actually under a lot of pressure uh, to deleverage. Uh, first of all, uh, you see that uh, the tax revenue collection this year has not been great. And second, um, the land revenue, the land sales revenue has also been plunging by, I think, around 20% this year because of the property market weakness. So that's why even though the, the central government is really pushing the local government to issue more, to spend more, it is, it's not really uh, really channeling to the to the fiscal spend that we are seeing uh, right now. So that's why that's, uh, we are not really seeing the improvement in the data so far. Um, so I think for for this uh, for 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 us to really see the turnaround in the situation, probably I think we need a bigger push uh, for the government to uh, first of all maybe we could see uh, somewhat maybe more bond issuance, uh, just like last year. But I think right now the policymakers are probably still debating whether it is a sensible way to do because uh, they are concerned that more infrastructure could lead to uh, debt sustainable uh, debt sustainability problem eventually. Um, and I think. Uh, Maybe on the monetary policy side, there's somewhat uh, maybe stronger expectations right now, given the speculation uh, we've seen on Friday. Uh, maybe the policymakers are thinking about uh, uh, there's uh, some chance for a lowering of the mortgage interest rates on the on the existing loans, and uh, and I think uh, given that the Fed uh, should be about to cut. Uh, interest rates as soon as uh, this month that also open more scope for the PBOC exactly. to cut interest rates further uh, given that the FX concerns should not be as uh, as severe as in the past so we do think that on monetary policy side there is also more scope for uh, for easing to go